Hello Globe Trotters, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Lori and in this community we strive to educate, motivate, inspire each other in all things travel related. And we believe that travel is one of the few things that you buy that will truly make you richer because we value experiences over things. And so in this video, I'm going to show you part two of my New York Fashion Week experience. And so that's going to be the Fashion Bomb Daily show. I uh, intro that to you in part one. If you have not seen it, make sure you go check it out over here. And I told you about a little bit of the weather situation that we had going on there and introduced you or gave you the details of my outfit. And so um, I spoke about the Hanifa dress, the green Hanifa dress that I was wearing. Hanifa is a black designer, a black luxury designer here in the States. Um, and this is a current season, I believe. It's not current fall season, but summer season dress. And so because it was a mini dress, I put a blazer from Zara over the mini dress and I um, wore a pair of bronze heels from um, Steve Madden. And, um, I also used my YSL pyramid bag with that to top the outfit off and put a YSL pin on the Zara blazer to just, you know, bring it up a notch and, and do that. And I had well, my hair stick straight, a little bit of a half up, half down situation going on. Um, and amazingly, it stayed straight during the whole 90 something degree you know, rainy, rainy day situation, so it worked. So um, as a treat also, I don't know if you guys saw this video where I went to have tea in the Blue Box Cafe at Tiffany's at the new uh, landmark store, the renovated store in New York City. So um, while there, of course, I had to pick up a Blue Box something for myself. And so what I ended up doing is um, doing a little bit of shopping at the store, buying something there that I could not buy online. And see, that's what I like. When I travel, I like to purchase something that I can get at that location that I can't get somewhere else or that, that I can get at that location that's at a price that I can't get, say, buying it online or buying it somewhere else. And so one of the things that is unique to this Tiffany store is this item that I purchased. And because I did not have any space in my in my carry on because I had travel carry on only, I did not have any space in my carry on for um, any purchases, I ended up having it shipped to my home. And so uh, that gladly, that happily arrived today. And so I figured I would just include that in uh, the end of this video as an unboxing. So stay tuned for that. So let's get right into the video on the fashion show. Now, of course, because there were 10 different designers, I could not show you all of the designs. And so I decided to show you some highlights from the show. And I left in the original audio so you would get that feel for being at the fashion show. For one, music is one of the elements of a fashion show and so to hear the music that went along with it um, i think would make it even more special and then also to um to hear my uh reaction to some of the fashions and yes i was a little bit exaggerated with some of the reactions but that's generally how i am when you know i see something good that i like you know you'll hear my commentary in the background and you'll hear the commentary of some of the other people around me so i think that's exciting and that's fun and like i said this is my very first fashion week show um, ever going to New York Fashion Week. And so it was truly special for me. I had so much anxiety because I thought we were gonna be late, but we got there and it did not start. It was scheduled to start the VIP cocktail hour, which was supposed to be from six to seven. We did not get VIP tickets for this one. Um, and then the show was set to commence at seven and go until 10. Well, the show did not start until about 7.30, which wasn't too bad, too late. Um, and so uh, we have a couple hours of showtime. There was a cocktail, there was a, a drinks bar there. And I believe if you paid for seats, you got a certain amount of tickets for, for, for free drinks at the bar, whatever, whoever the sponsor was. Um, and so I, sh I think I showed a bit of that in the last video. If not, I'll show it in this video. But um, let's get right into the fashions and then we'll talk a little bit later. Come along.
Lovely ladies, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Yes. Work. How did designing come around? Beautiful. Yes, just for the VIPs. <laughs>
love that idea of putting the, the, the ties on the bottom of the sword. So what did you think? Wasn't that so, so special? All of these different designers are um, people who could not necessarily have a space onto themselves, 
all but Bruce and Glenn, I've, I've, I've not heard of you. I want to now get into the unboxing portion of this video. Thank you for watching so far. If you have made it this far in the video, then you think it's a vibe and hopefully you have already subscribed. I see that most people who watch the video are not subscribed. So what are you doing? It's okay. It's free. And also you can, you know, go over or in, and up or up and over, you know, depending on if you're watching on your TV or on your phone and you can just click that thumbs up button and that really is a free way to support the channel to help the channel let's get to uh, 500 subscribers pretty soon let's get to the unboxing thank you This is the little emblem that they place on all the bags when you purchase something from the flagship store. So sweet. I think I'm going to use this as a keychain. But they place this as a bag charm. And as you can see, this is the landmark store. So that bag comes with every purchase that you make at the landmark. This is the same emblem here for the new store, the Tiffany & Co store. If you have not seen that video, Go back and take a look because I gave you guys a pretty, pretty good. Oh, even the inside of the bag is different. Oh, wow. They've changed this. Look at this pretty blue. There's cobalt blue on the inside. Very pretty. So, yes, as I was saying, what you do is you go to the store, um, go to the video, check it out, and you'll see how the store is now like a museum almost. But let me shut up and let's do the unboxing. What do you think it is? I purchased a pair of the Tiffany & Co. ceramic cups, the water cups. This is the emblem of the Manhattan Bridge. This is the Brooklyn Bridge. This looks like uh, images from Central Park. What's on this one? There's a Statue of Liberty. Um, there's a diamond, I guess, for Tiffany. This is what the bottom looks like. But some pretty imagery from New York City that is specific just to New York. And what was the price of these lovelies? Oh, I don't have my receipt in here. Oh, that's because he gave me my receipt in the store. Now you can't purchase, like I said before, you cannot purchase these online. You have to purchase them from the store. You can't even, you can, I think, call and purchase them from the store, but you cannot purchase them online. You either have to purchase in person in the store, or you can purchase them um, by calling the number for the store on Fifth Avenue. And those will go perfectly with my other cups from Tiffany. I have four of these coffee mugs and we literally use them for everything. So these are also, you know, blue box on the bottom. Very, very pretty. Um, we use them for water. We use them for juice. We use them for tea because we, we, we drink tea in this household. We're not a coffee household. So we drink tea. Um, I used one today for ice cream <laughs> because I don't like holding the cold cup when I'm eating ice cream. So I use it for ice cream. Although I consider these to be collector's items, I'm definitely going to wash them and place them in my cabinet because I will be using them daily. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you liked, subscribed, commented, shared all the things. And I hope to see you in a new video. I'll post a couple of videos here and here or here and here so that you can um, somewhere along the screen so that you can click and join me in another video soon. I hope that you continue to value experiences over things uh, because like we said, travel is one of the very, 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 very few, if not the only thing that you purchase that truly makes you richer. Ciao.